advice. The opinions and views of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Welcome again to another episode of Illuminati with Trix and Crip. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> we, 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 have a, we have a very special show uh, tonight. We have to be fast with our discussions because there's that so much to see. There's so much, there's to, so see much, so to, much to hear. There's so much to talk about. Yeah, talk about and uh, get to learn more from, from our young guest uh, this evening. I'll come straight yeah. to the point. Our... Uh, yeah. I think he's even. I think he's uh, slightly older than my co-host. That means I'm uh. young. <laughs> or both of them are entering the Saturn cycle, but more on that later. Uh, <laughs> uh, in any mean. case, our topic for this evening is uh, film animation. That's right. And I'm very glad that we managed to finally guest uh, a young fellow whom I met in Dumaguete a few months back. Who's and actually he, from Dumaguete. Yes, uh, and from. From that school that suffered a horrible loss yesterday, uh, to uh, no, two days ago, I mean, to, to my alma mater, Ateneo. Oh, that's uh, right. It's yeah. an embarrassing 17 point Dela loss. University. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, okay, he's from the Magalhães, he's from De La Salle University, and he's an animation filmmaker. Very exciting, creative work. And uh, welcome to the show, Mr. Ramon Del Prado. Ramon yeah. Del Prado. Thanks for having me. It means Ramon <laughs> of the Grasslands. Yeah. I have to say that. <laughs> yeah. In, in, <laughs> yeah, interesting yeah, environment. Welcome, Ramon. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay, um. so actually what you viewers need to know about Ramon is that he has been into animation for quite some time now. So as we mentioned earlier, he's now 28. But you've been doing this for how long? Um, I can say maybe... I started animating the corner of a flip book after my dad showed me how to at eight. So yeah, eight years old. Eight years old. That's <laughs> when he, he draws so stick figures at the yeah, corner. Yeah, stick of figures. The I've been doing that. Then book and then flips through them. Yep. Then computers started coming in and made animation much more convenient uh -huh. and made the process a lot easier and more versatile. So uh, yeah, I've probably been animating for like twenty years already wow. in my life. Sorry. Did it help determine your choice of a college course in La Salle? Uh, I have, uh, in, in hindsight, while well, I took a film in La Salle, mm -hmm. which uh, people can, might say, but that's not animation. Filmmaking yeah. actually was a very good foundation for, right. and for right. storytelling. We actually, we took the same course. You said We're right. communication yeah. oh, okay. arts graduates and yep. we majored in film production. Okay, okay. So but he got accelerated. <laughs> yeah, he got accelerated and I'm stuck here. <laughs> that's uh, fine. <laughs> but as early as, you know, during high school, uh, Ramon, or entering college, had you determined already that that is what you want to do? In like yeah, when animation. Well, ever I've been drawing for as long as I can remember, and then, yeah, in high school I said, yeah, I want to make cartoons. Yeah. But then before that, I actually wanted to be an, a marine biologist. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the, the silly man influence. Uh, you know? uh, uh, yeah, uh, and then just growing up in Dumaguete, yeah, you're surrounded yeah. by nature right. and then Doctor, dolphins and the coral Doctor reefs. Doctor Angel Alcala. Yeah. Oh yeah. Environment. Yeah, yeah. That's right. So uh, yeah, it was. It actually served as a very good, um, very good backgrounds for like the material I eventually developed for my cartoons now. Okay. So like locations in Dumaguete, I actually get them as reference for some of the settings in my cartoons. That's right. Yeah. And I noticed a lot of the themes of the short animated films that you make are actually very Filipino. Yes. Because he yes, watches a lot right. of Western cartoons. He watches uh -huh. Adult Swim, <laughs> Guilty Pleasure. Yeah. yeah, he watches Harvey Birdman and the like. I, I, but I do, what are those? They're adult <laughs> cartoons. How uh -oh. can we live without our adult, adult swim? Cartoons. Thank you, Cartoon Network. Anyway, back to Ramon. So, yeah, <laughs> okay. a lot of his themes are very Filipino. 
Yeah, yeah that's I'd, something I really admire. Oh, thank you. So, uh, where do you draw inspiration from when you come up with a film? Well, um, growing up uh, with uh, watching cartoons, I always wanted to let's say what what happens if there's like Filipino stories. Mm -hmm. I mean, we we are all familiar with Mickey Mouse and and Dragon Ball and all that. But then I started thinking, what if somebody animated, let's say, Monkey and the Turtle, or yeah. Yeah. or you know, one of the other legends of uh, the Philippines? That would be that would be great to, to watch. And mythology. Yeah, Philippine yeah. mythology. Yeah. We have a yeah. very rich culture, yeah, very yeah. rich yeah. mythology. Ibo Madarna. Yeah, yeah. Then, yeah the there's so much material yeah. there that it's uh, basically a gold mine for yeah. any our animator looking for stories. Yeah. Our show hoys would make good stories. Yeah. <laughs> and our capres. And then oh, 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 our capres. He actually does have one that. Uh, sorcery, Sikihor, yep. no? <laughs> yep, uh, we, um, I'm actually part of an animation group also called mm -hmm. Doldok Animation yes. Studios and we're a, we're a non-stock, non-profit group where, where we just have this common goal of making our original Filipino animation and our first story is, was about Capres. Ah, wow. yeah. okay, okay. I understand, Ramon, no? that uh, for someone as young as you, you've already, you're really quite a veteran already of film animation production yeah. and a lot of your works have been shown in international uh, exhibition festivals uh, yeah actually may more maybe as an independent filmmaker okay. but not really as as a veteran in the studio because my uh -huh. um, I've only had experience in studio work for like a year then after that I chose to stay independent <laughs> uh, okay yeah so so um, I don't have the formal training of uh, studio animation but as an independent it's there and then, yeah, um, that's it. Yeah, talk, <laughs> talking about training, mm. Ramon, actually, you did not undergo, I was asking him earlier if mm. he picked up on the technical, the technique of animating from his course in La Salle, and he said, no, you're self-taught. You began with, yeah. was it um, flash animation? Yeah, um, my, I took up, uh, like I said earlier, I took up film in La Salle, and then my thesis was actually an undergraduate I mean, my thesis was a short film called Egg, which I did with Marco Dana and okay. Catherine Arillo. Uh, it was proposed to be an animated film, but then there were no animation courses being offered except for an elective, which was uh, 3D animation. I and see. I took that one because it's the only animation it course, so I grabbed it right yeah. away. Yeah. But then it was too, at that time, it was too heavy technically. Um, and I didn't have the hardware that I could use. So the next available thing, the most the best thing and the most lightweight software available is Splash. And unfortunately, uh, there were no courses offered to teach that. So I had to do a lot of Googling and it wasn't even Googling, Google yet. Yeah, yeah it's probably, <laughs> probably Yahoo search and InfoSeek uh, yet. <laughs> yeah, and YouTube. Yeah. There are oh, some YouTube. people generous enough to post tutorials on YouTube. Back then, YouTube wasn't still as popular. Yeah. So there were some tutorials on the internet and then maybe some books. Okay. And eventually be lucky enough to so find So Flash is a good foundation for budding animators or it's animator a, wannabes. It's very straightforward and it's very it's light on the computer. Well, it's the user version. Friendly. Um, it's very similar to Photoshop, and usually when you ask a graphic artist, the easiest software for them to pick up would be it's Photoshop. Photoshop yeah. And then with an interface similar to that, uh, artists can e jump into Flash much easier than they would probably. Oh yeah, with a 3D program Very like Maya easy. or 3D yeah. Studio Max. But how does one actually undertake uh, an animation film at this day, at this day and age? Yeah, no, because uh, once upon a time, for you the used layman, to have what, what several do you do? Um, frames. You have to draw yeah. each yeah. and every frame like this, like that, like that. Uh. And then, so now how does it work? Uh, now, well, the process is still similar. You start with the script, then you do the usual pre-production stuff. Mm -hmm. where, like with film, you start with a, a good idea, which you develop the script. Then you have uh, the character designs, and then the background designs, and from there, from there you you go the storyboards. Storyboards are very important. I, and I think we have a, we have a set of uh, stills to show some of the, you know, the, the those technical details, no? or yeah, what um, you call them, the frames, or I, uh, if we can show uh, uh, our first set of stills. Uh, yeah, those, would that be it? Yeah. These are a yeah. sample uh, character Characters, designs I did. Okay. Um, what you see here is a character lineup, and if you can see it at the edge, you can see like circles that's supposed to be heads, and that's uh, okay. called a size comparison, uh. where you see all the characters in, in relation to their sizes. This one is a location sketch I did for, for my latest short, 
uh, that's actually a princess in the middle of a cave with thorns so and everything. So this is you painting so the setting. Detailed, yeah, that's yeah. that's all pencil and paper. These Even are like though. basic ah. drawings, and then yeah, one this is was a uh, for the first for my first cartoon. This was egg, and we had ah, like yes, all egg. these poses and then expressions, most of which I didn't ah. really use. <laughs> okay, okay. And then this is uh, this, this is, is a character Arik. design. <laughs> 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 looks more like Manny Pacquiao to me. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, that's still a third round. Do rag, no, yeah. And then ah, this one, uh, yeah, this is with the the main character in Libingan, which uh, uh, you guys are gonna see the trailer uh, in a bit. Yeah. And then more of like details. Um, that's a sketch of the hero of my latest short. Yeah, you can so, see he's very okay. heroic. You do these sketches and then what? You train the cameras on them? or, or, um, or So I do a how sketch. How do you apply it to the computer? That's actually done in uh, pen and paper. Okay. Pencil and paper. Yeah. I put them through a scanner. I don't mm. actually put the, those sketches themselves. Um, those are just references. Then I do a nice. like an orthographic drawing, like front, side. Yeah. Then okay. I put those into the computer. Like in the in in the case of Save Me, there you can see the front and the side. I put those in the computer, and then they're the basis for my sculpture. Because when you do 3D uh -huh. animation, it's you're basically sculpting yeah, on yeah. the uh, on the computer inside the computer. So you don't have to manually use your hand. No, because it's, it's in the round. Virtual it's, sculpting. Part, it's in the round. Uh, it, it the figure is shown in the round. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. start with a basic shape, like it could be a box. Then oh. you just pull out the legs, and oh, then you add all the details. Oh. And then oh. it's like you paint you paint that sculpture within the program also. Good. And color, yeah. you mentioned earlier before we started taping, it's sort of like gift wrapping. Yeah, exactly. So you have That's to wrap it in the, the color technical that you term, if you want, is called texture mapping. Yeah. Where, mm -hmm. in essence, it's it's like gift wrapping, where you have this creature. It's a, it's probably going to be gray by default. Then you just wrap around all the colors, so so it makes it look like you have buttons or. If or scars or wow. like anything else. Well, uh, we have we actually have four samples of video of, of uh, your your film animation works now, and we'd like to uh, share with our viewers the first one, which I understand is titled Doc, right? Yeah, that's one of your earlier ones. Mm -hmm. what was it? What year was this? About two, three years ago. Uh, that was in oh. two thousand five, two thousand. Oh, that early. It was oh. actually oh. made um, in a in a coffee shop because uh, that's when millennials struck. Ah, Millennia yes, struck, yes, and no, then the no. deadline for that was near. It actually went to Jakarta ah, and competed wow. in the Asian yeah. New Media competition. Okay, it, it got yeah. first place there. Wow, wow. Yeah. So, okay, no we'll media. watch an international uh, prize winning short uh, titled Doc. Uh, if we can show the, the video in a while. Uh, this is how long? Uh, about? I'm estimating around two to three minutes. Two to three minutes long now. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, so if we're ready with our uh, first animation feature. one about the, 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 the tribe, no? choosing yeah. their leaders, yeah. uh, or, or one leader, mm -hmm. and then the television set drops 
Yeah, uh, something like nowhere. Guts Must Be Crazy with the Coke bottle. Yeah, that was a good <laughs> okay. I love okay. that. I, I watched uh, that as a kid. Like uh, I said, all these uh, things from my childhood come back and uh, yeah. serve as inspiration. And this film won in the 2005 uh, Indie Festival in Indonesia, you said? Uh, yeah, the um, ASEAN New Media Competition. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, I guess they like oh. the message for it. <laughs> and since then, you've sent other works to international uh, festivals. Yeah, the, yeah, some of them have reached uh, New York and then Brazil and Egypt and other places, to which I wish I could have gone to <laughs> myself. <laughs> uh, at least my films could go there. How okay. many films, approximately, have you finished? I've had... Uh, at this early stage in your life? Ten. Ten. ten yeah, the tenth one was Save Me. The, my this first 3D short. This is your latest. Yeah. The of one. which we have the trailer. Yeah, right? you'll see oh. the trailer there. And yeah, well, if we're ready with the trailer, I'd like to see more of uh, Ramon de Prado's works. Uh, uh, the trailer for your latest or most recent film. Yeah. That would be it, yeah. Uh, if it's re anytime it's ready. Uh, uh, <laughs> but after that, you have another project. Uh, yeah, uh, right now working we're working on one already. Um, Tuldok is actually working on a follow up to Libingan, which was, um, it's now a 40 minute a forty minute story entitled Pasintabi. We have wow. a different director wow. for that. Actually, what we did is we got this the, um, yeah, it's, it's we, w we want to take the next step. So, is it, this is a collaborative effort of several animators? Uh, we, this is not just. You. Yeah, we tried, yeah, this one, this one is the group. This one's uh, under till doc yeah. now, and then we try to make it as uh, collaborative as possible. Okay. I understand we have the we have the second uh, animation feature uh, ready. The the trailer rather of. This is a trailer the of. It's hot. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> my world. I can do what <laughs> yeah. I, I decide. <laughs> the actual film, uh, the actual, uh, the entirety. How long will it be? Uh, that's how, how long four and a half minutes. Four and a half. Yeah. yeah. Everyone, that particular one, I'm curious because it, it reminded me of Shrek, which involves like a huge production team. This one, did you do this on your own? Yeah, everything except the music. Except My friend Pepe Manikan did no, the music. No, but the wow. in terms of the animation, you did everything mm -hmm. yourself. Yeah, the modeling, the, the modeling, the sketch, the oh, storyboard, oh. script, rigging, oh. texturing, lighting. Yeah, compositing. I see so many <laughs> elements in that short yeah. and then that brief trailer. Yeah, yeah tell me, Ramon, well, how do you feel when you watch a film like Avatar? Oh wow! When you like, oh yeah, um, just to. It must be amazing to be part of uh, a team like uh -huh. that and with a, with a director with a, such a clear-cut vision also. And then, as a filmmaker, it's like to have a budget, oh, <laughs> the budget uh, and uh, the talent uh, uh, involved. And it's uh, like, wow, if, you have, if you're uh, able yeah. to control such a budget, imagine, imagine what we can, can do. do. Yeah. We can do that. Yeah, yeah imagine we, can, we uh -huh. can create our own. Like, let's do one do titled Abiles. <laughs> oh, with the hero of Malacanang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we should actually team up, the three of us. Yeah, why not? <laughs> or We're I always a, open. I've, I've, always long, I've open. long had a Filipino superhero and I dapat animate. He's called Pexman. Pexman. Yeah. Pexman, yeah. Pexman. <laughs> he, he keeps promising, you know, to do uh, something. <laughs> <laughs> We're thinking of like the epics, maybe. Um, 
all the mm. people. Somebody already did that. Ibo Ngadarna before. Um, mm. I mean, Jerry Garcia already did ah, that. Uh -huh. But let's say. Yeah, mm. parang lives. Mm. Uh. Yeah, and then we want to look. Let's say what we're thinking about like a 3D version of mm. No Limitang or That's LP, right. No. Even you know, even the even mga ano the Philippine Revolution against Spain. Yeah, you know, like the stories of our heroes. Yeah. You know, they'd make great. Mm -hmm. They make for great material that yeah, you can yeah. convert. Because so that's. That's another reason why we want to do these things because, like, in high school, in high school we would we would see anime, mm -hmm. anime every day, and people actually know names of swords, name of the samurai, they, yeah, yeah, and didn't uh, want to be yeah. samurai, didn't yeah. want to be oh, right, these right, people. Right. And imagine, I was thinking, what if there was a cartoon of, like, let's say Lapu Lapu, or yeah, maybe yeah. they're the the pintados, you know, uh, the, those warriors, uh, yeah, that's the right. Kali uh, warriors. It, uh, it, uh, yeah, uh. It'd be. <laughs> You know, we we can put them yeah. in that light, and the Arnis, the Chris, all yeah, the weaponry. Yeah, we could see the, such uh, a local yeah. appreciation for That's Japanese right. culture, and it'd be nice if we can start to appreciate our own culture. Yeah, as all, well. all the kids are waiting for uh, are the you know productions. Yeah, and so some not, presentation. No doubt, we have the materials. There's a the materials uh, there. wealth of materials. Yeah. So it's just the budget. And budget. Think, it, uh, it goes down to the budget, and then budget and the uh, talent involved. We need to get mm -hmm. like the. Um, Competent and reliable people. Are you guys? Have you guys been in touch with uh, our government body, the NCCA? Yeah, actually, uh, the NCCA helped us a lot with. Oh, uh, that's with nice to hear. They helped Tuldok a lot. They Great. they funded uh -huh. the Bingan. That's that actually helped Tuldok get the ball rolling, and okay. uh, and and now we're we're still working with them, with the NCCA, and now with the CICP. It's a special project mm -hmm. which is helping us uh, work this for the forty minute. The 40 minute movie okay. from Build Up. So, Excellent. Thank yeah, you it's uh, contrary to what most people think that, yeah, <laughs> the government doesn't help the artists and all yeah, that. No, but uh -huh. you know, if, if, if the artists uh, look, that's right. If they, oh, they, all they yeah. need to do is just look and yeah, then ask. That's true. That's true. And then uh, they'll be helped. Because yeah. uh, most people that complain, they just stay in their homes and they, they don't do oh, it. Oh, it's the same. Or yeah, they, they rant in the Yahoo group. Exactly. And stuff. Yeah, so exactly. Just uh -huh. Go out there and yeah. then ask for help. And uh, that's right. Eventually, you'll find the right people. Well, what about corporate sponsorships? Uh, corporate sponsor is another tricky thing because with animation you have such a big initial investment and then you need to get the software, the hardware, and the talent involved. So for, for corporate people, they, they're always looking at the ROI. And then right now with animation and especially the entertainment industry locally, it's not really a very lucrative thing unless you, have, you do something very cookie cutter with the, all the, the lovable artistas and then you put the Love story that that's sure that, that's gonna be sure that's sure to make money. <laughs> that's sure to make money, but yeah, in, in the case Curtis of and Kurt you know, <laughs> and, uh, the, the, the usual <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, Buster, team yeah up. the usual cover <laughs> cover magazine. People. Yeah, yeah. What about the no, What about animation? And I've seen some animation in television commercials. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's another. Has uh, Tuldok been asked yet to uh, by some advertising uh, yeah. agency or client? Yeah, yeah. Actually, what uh, Tuldok does is they we we hook up our artists since. Since we're a non-profit group, and then, and then we cannot compete against like mainstream production or outsourcing. So what we do is we hook up our artists with, um, with uh, these guys uh, looking for animators to work on commercial uh, projects. Okay. Uh, so uh, we can't give them. So you serve like a clearing house, um, more of like a net. We network them. Okay. Okay. So at least they, they might not be able to get their, their compensate enough compensation from Tuldok, but at least they can hook them up with people who can. Okay. We'll, we'll be talking more about Tuldok uh, uh, in, in our second part of the show. Uh, what's the, uh, how does one get into the website of Tuldok? Yeah, you can uh, visit uh, Tuldok at uh, www.tuldokanimation.com. Oh, that's simple as that. Okay. Or you can email us at illuminatispeak at gmail.com and Kirpin, I will be very happy to give you that website that's address. That's right. Uh, uh, with an animation figure of tricks, but give, giving you the... Uh, we will see you in a while. We'll have a little <laughs> gap. Yeah.
Ramon and Ermon, something like that. That's uh, roughly about four minutes there. How long does it take you? Uh, that one... Yeah, good question. Uh, on average, maybe for a flash animation, maybe a week. A week, a week, uh, a week per minute. So a week a per, week minute. per minute. minute. So that's yeah. a month. So yeah, so a month yeah, it probably took like uh, a month. Uh, Three to four weeks. Exclusive part of the conception, the the yeah. organization yeah uh, yeah on top of that because this one you're animating on the fly uh, so you have to come up with all the backgrounds and all the props at the yeah, same also time. it <coughs> depends on how meticulous you are diba? I mean yeah. kung makulit ka about how you want it and you want uh, it perfect uh, then you're gonna yeah. pay attention more to the uh, little details that most people would be willing to okay yeah that just mm, depends on the on the time that I have yeah. that's so much uh, I put into the details, but right. usually these things I, I finish them like as quickly as possible. And then there's usually a post production. Back, yeah, that, back, mm, that playing follows the music them. and everything. Speaking yeah. of the music, uh -huh. you work only with one um, guy who performs yeah, with music. Yeah, I've been working with him ever since my first animated short. His name's uh, Pepe, Manikan. Pepe Manikan. Yeah, he was a teammate before back in college, and then so. apparently he makes a, he's very versatile with this. What about when it comes music? to scripts? Uh, scripts. A lot of your work is pantomime, but when mm. you do have to write scripts, do you do them yourself? Um, the story stories I try, I usually collaborate with people. Let's say with um, there's this one one short that uh, I collaborated with a UP filmmaker. Her name is Teresa Clamor, mm. and we made this short called Putek. It's about how this guy's just obsessed with his cell phone. Yeah, that one made it to New York actually. Really? <laughs> yeah, uh, in 2006, uh, okay. and then. It also made it to Puerto Rico <laughs> for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it, yeah, it's lucky enough to travel. Is travel there a particular parang animation shorts lang na festival or contest in the world? Uh, there must well, be. Well, there's no? uh, like the. Or is it always a, just a component of uh, in, in the film fest? It's usually a component, okay. but then there's. Uh, there are a few that specialize in really so, the Olympics of uh, the animation. Uh, as far as uh, as far as I know, the uh, the Olympics of the animation uh, film circuit is probably the Annecy in France. In France. Oh, yeah, that's you uh, never you haven't. No, that, that's always a dream. Uh, uh, okay. It's always a dream. Yeah. It's like for a filmmaker getting your film to the Oscars. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, what about um, Tool Doc? Um, do you guys have um, dreams of working with animators abroad? We. Like, with teaming up with, let's say, Disney or Pixar, or are you happy just being where you are now? We're happy being uh, told Doc. Uh, we just we hope to to make thing to become like a Pixar okay. in the Philippines yeah. and to yeah. aspire like yeah. excellent Pinoy Sir, yeah. Tayo. Pinoy Pixar, a Pinoy yeah, Pixar. a Pinoy version Pinoy of uh, those companies. <laughs> Um, <laughs> collaborating, yeah, sure. We don't, we don't mind. We're open to that if we, if we get the call, or anything. we'll see, we'll if negotiate. If they ask you mm -hmm. to jump on board for a new production, you would just as a. Yeah, we'll see. Member. We'll see how it goes. And yeah, we're we're always open to these things. Like like I said, we're open to like commercial work, maybe as individual artists first okay. because Still Docs a nonprofit, and then. Yeah, we'll we'll just see. What how about it goes the, with the yeah, bigger coordination or collaboration or learning from? The, the anime productions of uh, Japan. Yeah. Uh, actually, is there something to learn pa, from them? Or, or oh yeah, they're 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 another thing. They're the Japanese are, are another group of animators we look up to because for some reason, uh, for, in a way they they made they made the, um, their content was made for the Japanese, and they didn't really make content to market abroad. They oh. made it for themselves. It just That's so happened true. the rest of the and world yeah, like yeah. what they were oh, making. Yeah, just like manga comics. Even yeah. if you, they can't. They didn't target. They didn't target. They're the translated. Outside. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. They they made it and then the, the whole world liked it. That's right. Because excellence is excellence. No? You know, yeah. It they, becomes universal. You know? mm -hmm. uh, the people make a beeline for your product. No. Well, the same thing with the Korean telenovelas. They made it for themselves. But you know now they're being shown worldwide. No? Yeah. But aren't there grants for this, like the Japan Arts Council or Toyota Foundation, to send some of our young film animators to, to Tokyo? Um, I was uh, fortunate enough to be sent to New York, actually, on ah. a Fulbright grant. Okay. And that's how I was able to study 3D animation over there. Great. Uh, yeah. When was this? Yeah, uh, that I was there for 2007 to 2009. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, I got my master's degree over there. And mm. then um, that's one avenue. Another one is... Uh, I've heard of this uh, TESDA where they do scholarships uh, yeah. for the local animators and then they train them in 3D 
3D so, and Flash. Oh, yeah, they, it's part of their the whole BPO. I thought all they produced was this book na, to take off mm-hmm. on Chicken Soup and the Soul. Unfortunately, by my uncle from is no longer the head of Okay, okay, okay. I'll shut up on that. <laughs> but uh, getting back to Tuldok, we the still song. have one more short uh, a trailer yeah. uh, on the... Is this about the no no? The, it's the stills that are about the workshop. No. This trailer mm. is from uh, Libingen. Libingen. Oh, yes. This is a collaboration. Yeah. This is oh. um. This was actually uh, Tuldoc's first film, and this was the one that uh, the NCCA helped us a lot. With. Ah, okay. It fine. had its premiere at the CCP also in 2007. Great. But this one that we'll, we'll be seeing is only a trailer. Uh, yeah. This okay. is the. Tra- it's actually 20 minutes long. Uh, ah, we do. Okay. We go around. Uh, Tuldoc goes around with school. Uh, uh-huh. On school tours, and then we sure. always do a film showing of that. Great, great. See, guys, if we can have the trailer of uh, uh, the Tuldoc production. Ano yung kapre? Malalaki yung mga yun. Matatangka. Sintaka ng mga puno. Tapos, pula yung mga mata nila. Hindi ka daw makakagalaw. Pagtumingin ka sa mga mata nila. Nanoloko lang sila. Nananakot. Wala naman talagang mga kapre eh. I was hoping I'd see the capre. <laughs> <laughs> bitin, uh, yeah, bitin, pero. So you guys get to see it. But yeah, wha- tell your schools. Uh, uh, okay, what was the reaction to this? Was and uh, must have been happy. They liked it. Uh, yeah, they uh, they liked it very much. That uh, it actually paved the way for the second project now. And then, uh, and then the feedback we get from the students that we show the film to uh, have been positive and. Well, the word that comes out usually between they want to see yeah. more, like and that's it. very encouraging. And it's also. extendable yeah. now; yeah. you, you can still expand it. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. The, actually, this story was done, was done so it can have a follow-up, like it could be a sequel. There could be a sequel, or there could be a whole new series. Living on two. Yeah, <laughs> or a whole, a whole new world uh, just comes that can come from the characters uh, interacting there. Uh, okay, Ramon. Let's say I win the lotto this Sunday, okay. and I ask you to present a weekly. 30 minute na animation. Can you guys do it? Uh, yeah, we just need the, the right budget. No. The, the right uh, budget, the right people, uh, and then a good timeline also. Like a, a series, like like yeah. talagang animation series na yeah. thematic. Like something like that. Yung mm. libingan, no? Better stretch out into a season of 13 weeks or 26 yeah. weeks. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, like uh, that would be great. Uh, that's actually, um, even the local networks are, are interested uh, in it, but it's part of new media for one yeah. thing, right? Yeah. Their Absolutely. their biggest concern is that it's very hard to fit shorts into the regular programming, and they usually buy seasons. Yeah, uh, and to right. to create to create a whole season of shorts requires a big budget. So you can see how the cycle there is really tough to break yeah, into. Yeah. So, yeah. but then again, initially you need the the, the initial output. Yes, yes, fund the whole uh, series, and right, then you uh, sell that to the networks. Uh, 30 minutes would do, I think. Uh, yeah, uh, weekly 30 minutes. Yeah, 13 so. episodes of uh, uh, 20 to 30 right. minutes each. And, but once it's successful, the man, it's not just for the Philippine market. Eh. No, you can uh, resell them abroad. Exactly. And, yeah. Oh, oh. So the we're Middle East to Southeast Asia. It's up to the media giants, no? ABS or GMA7, you know, to, to sell. We're actually yeah. hoping that there's this one philanthropist, maybe, who's like, not really that concerned with ROI, who wants to like maybe leave a legacy or something, and help right. us out. Oh. Either that or we win the lottery. Okay. <laughs> um, um, when I win the lotto, uh, I'll, I'll they used make to have a lot of they used to have a lot of um, Filipino animation played in the mornings. I believe it was GMA that used to play them, 
There was even uh, there were even animated versions of stories from the Seven Hundred Club, like religious stories. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Bible, yeah. No, uh, 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 eight thirty in the morning. Oh yeah, yeah. Then, those uh, are, those have been pretty common. But uh, right uh, now, is there a lot of animation going on right now? Yeah, like, actually, the uh, animation industry in the Philippines has been around since the early eighties. Um, and then they've been uh, creating animation for like the Americans and the yes, Japanese. Yes, so it's yeah. through BPO. But there are regular right. programs, BPO. Uh, animation. Um, yeah, yeah. Like the yeah. the most pop, even the most popular cartoons that you see now have been animated by Filipinos. And that it's just with the BPO. There's this thing called an NDA, the Non Disclosure Agreement, uh, where they're not supposed to say that oh Filipinos yes. made it. Uh, it yeah. So it's so, uh, I don't know why, but it's part of their contract. Yeah. Wait, and we still have another set of. Stills. I think this had so something to do material. with the workshops you've been conducting in the yeah. rural areas. Yeah, part of yeah. Uh, Tuldoc's uh, here they are, yeah. part of uh, Tuldoc's oh, mission wow. is to uh, spread spread the word of animation and like how how it can actually be a career for everyone. And then maybe if you have time, you can also devote some time to create original okay. Filipino animation. So yeah, this was uh, these were th this was done in Baler. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, and then we were this uh, they were shooting. Showing um, like the f the hi Philippine history and some animation techniques. Oh, okay. So yeah, you can see in the tiny screen we had to do a makeshift, <laughs> a makeshift uh, setup there that was in a public. Did it anything to do with Senator Angara? Was yeah, they, they helped the, yeah. the governor. That's right. Uh, the governor oh, helped governor, us a lot there. Oh, Bella Castillo. Oh, yeah, she yeah, helped us a lot yeah. in the in organizing this and then them and her with the NCCA. You know, that's another very good material right there, but the seeds of Baler, if you yeah. want to animate Yeah, they them. toured us oh. around so there, and then we, we, yeah, since we didn't have computers, oh. we <laughs> gave them, we did some traditional animation there. Uh, this one is in Depolog, where, oh, oh. where yeah, they had the, uh, the whole college, uh, DPC, oh. the oh. DPC was there, and then, yeah, they invited all their fourth year, fourth year and first year oh. college students to watch. Okay. That's a, they're actually watching the Bingan in that screen ah. over there. See, <laughs> man, what they what they can do is oh, there's 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 exile in the pitan. Yeah, yeah they, le, like we, I also recommended like think of your stories, the stories oh, that your yeah, town yeah. grew up in. Uh -oh. And this is uh, the 3D animation workshop we I did in uh, Dumaguete. Ah, okay. Yeah, uh -huh. The last shot there. Uh -huh. uh -huh. In connection with uh, with Silliman University, uh, that was with the uh, Axat, ah, okay. Axat, because uh, they they wanted to help us out, uh, help out their. Uh, maybe they're looking into expanding. We might their be running program. out of time soon. Can you show us? Uh, Can you show us an actual you know, demonstration sure. yeah, of something really simple? Demonstration of how you do it. So people uh, will get an idea. Okay. Uh -huh. of sure. How you do your genius okay. work. <laughs> so. Um, just gonna angle it for the camera. It's on the screen. Uh, I'll try to. Move. So this is uh, this program is called Flash. Uh, this is the program they helped me out with. Uh, helped me start my animation. And, and then this you learned all on your own, right? The Flash. Yeah, program. it comes out with their home uh, their their help menu here, and then you can see tutorials and What's those Flash things. Flash Is that where? what they use for Flash games also? Yep, it's yeah. the exact same program. And then I'm just gonna make the outline you thicker. Know, some websites they have really basic games. You mga parang shoot as many birds as you can within the next 30 seconds. That's parang you shoot them and then they just no, like well, it's super like simple. It's well, yeah, it's like the Photoshop okay, okay. for animation. Is Flash the same as Flash Player? Uh, it uses the Flash Player. It's the same uh, guys who made the okay, Flash Player okay, originally. Uh. Is it an Adobe program? Yeah, it's now an Adobe program. It used to be developed by Macromedia. I still have the version of Macromedia because I cannot afford the original. Is it something Adobe you can even pull out of the net? Uh, I think you have to pay for it. Now yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a legal way, but uh, in, the, in the ingenious way. If you um, look, there are ways. Yeah, if you look, there are uh, ways. This, this. Uh, this copy, however, was I won this one from a contest. Ah, so, okay. so what are you doing now? Uh, I'm gonna make a simple character, maybe a. Just using geometric uh, shapes, like yeah. basic ones, two triangles put together. Looks kind of like a beak. Yeah, <laughs> that's you're good, and. Uh, I'm good. So but yeah, I'm, I'm young. Just <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna make a simple, that. simple character over here. Um, Oh, so and the way See Flash works is 
the way Flash works is it's uh, very similar to like paper dolls, and then you do paper cutout animation That's if you right. want an idea. Yeah. Yeah. And then so you have something like that. Uh, yellow woodpecker. So maybe huh? you have something like huh? that, and I'll just <laughs> yeah. I'll, this one is just really quick and messy, so. Oh, that's where you, you actually sketch. Okay. You've tried your hand at it, tricks? No, I've never. But I'd like to. So, yeah, then. So, um, imagine if I could do performance short films. Yeah, and then yeah, 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 animation. right. So, mix it all together. Oh, that's a tapestry. Next time you perform, you have an animation so behind you. Yeah. What I do is, I'm just. With the way Flash works, is you define. You create elements uh, similar to this one here, and then you you define uh, two two sec two points in space where oops just two uh, or it could be more uh, but it at you least start two, with two yeah. you can start with two and then from here let's say uh, this is going to be a wing well hopefully the audience can see it's a wing and then I do something called the motion queen which is what Flash is really good at. And then I'll just move this anchor point here so it knows where to bend. So it's like a start point and a finish point. Exactly. Right. And what I'm going to do now, since uh, the start and end point are the same, so I can have a smooth animated loop. So I'm just going to, for the middle point, I'm just going to move it maybe down here. Let's see how that works. Let's see. Maybe not, not as nice <laughs> as I thought. I think we have about a, a little over a minute to go, though. Uh, so no, but okay, so, so you can see how it yeah. comes together. Oh, There's that's motion right, right. Oh, yeah. there. Oh, and then wow. there, that so you have a, a oh. bird moving. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> if I had more time, I could have added legs and all that. But uh, yeah, that's um, that's the gist of how Flash works. And you can save that as a file. And yeah, you can save like this all the time. Export it to um, as a movie oh. file, then you can import it to videos. And I want the Flash animated uh, version of myself. Sure, why not? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you can be a character in the next one. one. Uh, we can make we can make you both of you uh, special guest appearances in no, our me next one. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Which of the witches would she be? <laughs> <laughs> you want to be a capper? But they capper. I'm a princess. I'm a princess. Ah, you'll be the next oh, no, princess. No, no. I'll be the princess. Siren. You'll be the siren. Tikbala. No, siren. <laughs> We're Choco. all out of yeah. time, but as I mentioned yeah, earlier, you can email well. us at yeah. illuminatispeak yeah. at gmail.com and, and for any doc, questions. Yeah, the, about it's Ramon Ramon Del Del uh, And then your website that? is? Yeah, my website is uh, romandelprado.com. You can view uh -huh. most of my uh, animated shorts there Okay. because I want to give it for free. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Otherwise, and you can go to YouTube. Yeah, yeah, and then the links are in YouTube. So, uh -huh. But to, if you want to go straight to the YouTube link, it's uh, youtube.com slash romandp. Okay. And then for Tuldoc, the Tuldoc. animation group I'm with, uh, it's called TuldocAnimation.com. Ah, uh, straight. Tuldoc Animation. Yeah, TuldocAnimation.com. Okay. No, no spaces, great, no underscores. Uh, Thank thanks you a so lot. Much, Thank Roman. you so much. Hey, Thank I'm, you sure for having me. I'm sure our audience enjoyed this show, and I'm sure. I hope we get a lot of replays for this one. It's also very educational, and something to do for all the kids, you know. Yeah. If oh, you're watching at oh. seven o'clock, catch us again at ten o'clock. And yeah. probably again tomorrow morning. Yeah. And other than that, we'll uh, see you next week. Thank you uh, again, Ramon. Thanks again, Ramon. Thanks uh, thank you. Thank you. Then